Parco test facility. It consists of two rooms located in Portland, Maine with a hallway. It's built at the hospital specs and you're looking at the overhead view of the floor. The double black lines uh, signified with the Y equals 32 are the Y axis away from zero and the single green lines, if you can see the color, are the x-axis. You can see that the center one is x equals 37. There are two containers on the floor. One is located at approximately x37, y29, and the other container is located inside of an area that is approximately x equals 34 to x equals 37, y equals 32 to y equals 35. What you're going to see is a test as we move tags from one container to the other container in the test grid. We are monitoring approximately a 4,000 square foot area using an ultra wideband tag pulsing out a one microwatt ultra wideband signal every second. Another view of the facility, the hallway, everything's up to healthcare specs. And here is the view of the room at floor level. This is an ultra wideband tag. This is the outside of the facility. The receivers are mounted up on the wall. There are four of these receivers around the facility covering approximately 4,000 square feet. This big ugly box here is a Linux computer which is the equivalent of our embedded Linux device. The data that you see on the screen uh, is the textual data of the ultra wideband readout. This computer here is running the Parco middleware software component, receiving data from the Linux computer and routing it in an XML package for availability to the Parco GIS application software. As a zoom in here, you can see the data is being fed over from the Linux computer and routed into the Parco server, which information is represented here. You can see from this representation the IP address of the machine, the port on the machine, and the number of streams being four devices that we are tracking. This is an example of how the SDK's three-dimensional viewer can be used to represent the data. This is the application data as it's assembled into the system. I've dropped the drop-down box there to the left which has the 253 highlighted to show how the devices are self-assembled into the system. I created a trigger area to show how precise the system is. 16, when it enters the field, will trigger uh, action that shows up here. 19, when it leaves the field, called the trigger area, will create a trigger response. So, this is a digital feed showing uh, Bert Dougal, our ever-present assistant, moving tag 16 into the area and 19 out of the area. This demo, by the way, is available over the internet for you. And you see here on the screen that we're reporting that 16 has entered the trigger area. You can see on this demo that 16 has entered the area and 19 has left the trigger area. We estimate our resolution of accuracy in the current lab layout to be plus or minus 12 inches. If you 